Now you may see the recovering process. Recovery completed. Hello everybody, you are on Andrew Mihalova channel. Today I'm going to show you and tell you in detail how to recover data from your hard drive even if it has some problems. Also, we're going to talk about the common problems, why hard drive not detected by the system and how to fix these issues. So, why my hard drive not detected by the system? There is a couple of reasons. The hard disk has a partition issue, USB cable or USB port is broken, probably you may have some malware, Trojan or other virus on your hard drive. The file system of your hard disk is not compatible with your OS. The hard disk doesn't have a drive ladder. So actually this is the common problems why your hard drive not detected by the system. But you need to understand that every hard drive and every problem are individual. So you need to figure out for yourself which problem do you have? But believe me, I will help you with this. Especially for this video, I have a hard drive from which I accidentally deleted very important information. My grandmother's birthday. Yes, this is true and my parents still don't know that I did that, but I don't worry because I think I will recover all data and probably you also have a chance to recover all your data. Fortunately, I have a special SATA adapter that will help me to connect my hard drive to the laptop or computer and I will try to recover all my data. So let's get it started. Okay guys, for the beginning I need to connect my hard drive to the laptop. So I insert my hard drive. So we see the song of connecting. Okay, after connecting your hard drive, I recommend to do next. Click here, go to the PC, probably we see our hard drive. Actually, this is my SSD drive and this is HDD drive. It already had installed Windows, but I still recommend to do next. Click on the right mouse button on this PC. After that, click on manage. Okay, in this window, you need to find disk management. Click here and voila, we see our SSD drive and HDD drive that I connect by using SATA adapter. So the most important that you need to know that if you see your HDD or SSD drive here, that means you have chance to recover your data. Okay, we will close this window and now we will do next. I will open my browser, in my case I will use a Google Chrome browser, double clicking, open in full screen to make it more convenient, and then I will type next, 4D dig, recovery, and press enter. So if we scroll down a little bit, and now we see official tenor share 4d dig windows data recovery okay actually we can click on this website but also you can insert this link link will be in the video description so we can just copy this link go to our browser and insert it here okay we are on the official website 4d dig windows data recovery as you can see, it supports Windows 11 and definitely it's very cool. Recover data from laptop, PC, internal, external drive, USB flash drive, SD card, etc. Actually, we have a lot of options to recover our data. So here we have two options to download a free trial version. Actually, if we download this version, we will have opportunity to scan for our lost data. And after that, you have opportunity to look at your images, video files, etc. But if you want to recover all your file, you need to get license. To install it on our computer, we need to download it. Click here and wait until it will be downloaded on your computer. After that, we can open our file, click on it. So now I can close this window. Okay. And now we need to install this software. Check this option and click install. Now you need to wait until software will be installed on your computer. Okay, folks, we can click start to run our program. 
Tenorshare 4D DIG. So we are in Tenorshare 4D DIG software. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. So here we can find the most important and the basic option that will help us to recover our files. Data recovery, recover from crash computer, repair unopenable photos, repair unplayable videos. Actually, all of these features are very convenient and reliable, but today we will use this feature, data recovery, so I will click here, and one more time you may see our hard drives. Actually, this is my SSD drive, and here you may see my HDD drive that I previously connect to my computer. So, the most important that I want to do is to recover data that I lost, I mean the birthday of my grandma. Here you may see USB drive E and Windows installed on this partition and USB drive F and actually all information was on USB drive F. So to recover my data that I lost, I need to click here on scan, click on it. So in this window, you see that I already tried to scan for lost data, but one more time I will rescan now because I just check how feature of this program works. So I will click here to repeat all the process. And now we can select which files we want to scan. Definitely, if you have a lot of information, I recommend to leave all this option here. But if you know that you only need to find photo or video, you can uncheck this option and click here, scan selected file types. But in my case, probably I have a lot of other important information, so I will leave all by default and click here. So now you need to wait until all files will be scanned and actually it may take some time but after all the process will finish we will have other option to recover our files. We just need to wait. Okay the process complete and now you may see how many files Sutter finds. After that we can click understood. After it scan I will click here on USB drive, click on it. And here you may see other folder, deleted file, file patch not found, file name not found and other option. First of all, I recommend to click here on deleted file. And what do we see here? The birthday of my grandma. We can click here, double clicking. As you can see, I found all my lost photos and videos. So to recover each photo and video, you can just click here. And after that, you need to click on recover. But if you want to recover all of this photo and video, you can just uncheck this and click on the folder which you want to recover. After that, you need to click on recover. And now you can select the place where you want to recover all your files. Before you recover your photos, you have option to look at the image of your photo to be sure that it is your photo and not fake information. So you can click here and right now you see the small image of your photo. And if you select this option, you may see photo in middle screen mode. Okay, I will close this window. So for the example, I will recover this photo and this video. After that, I need to click here, recover. After that, I have option to select the place where I want to save my lost data. For the example, I will go to my desktop and now I will create a new folder. Click here, select this folder and click recover. So in my case, I want to recover only, but if you want to recover your data and repair data, you can click here and select this option. So I will select recover only. Now you may see the recovering process. Recovery completed. Okay, let's check. Do we really recover our data? Click here. Yep. So friends, as you can see, I recover my photo and video without any problem. So everything works correctly. A great software. So if you want to recover your data, your photos, your video and other files, you can use this software. It helps to recover files. Also, I want to mention that you can buy the licensed version of this program that will give you opportunity to recover 
all your files and all your data. I will give you special coupon that you can find in the link in the video description and also I will pin it in the comment below. So be sure if you want to buy this software, you can use this special coupon. Also, I want to give you pro tips to fix hard drive not detected on Windows. First of all, you need to try to plug in the hard drive to another USB port because probably one of the USB port may not work correctly. It's possibly can be broken. So if you try to connect it to the other USB port, everything may work. Also, you can try to connect external hard drive to another computer. Probably the main problem is in your hardware. Believe me, sometimes it happens. So if you have possibility to try to connect your hard drive to another computer, just do it. If your disk is simply unallocated in disk management, then you need to create a new partition for it. Everything is very easy. You just need to go to the disk management. You need to find your disk and voila, you will have option to create a new partition. Also, you can try to update disk driver in device manager. It is very easy. You just need to go to the device manager. Another time you need to select your hard disk and you need to try to update it. Sometimes it helps and probably the last advice for today you can try to change drive ladder. Yes, for this you need to another time go to the disk management, you need to find your hard disk and you can change drive ladder from A to B, from C to D, because sometimes drives can interfere. So you can just try to change drive ladder. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be gladful if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.